Right now, a local business has a lot of repairs to do after a car slammed right into it. Take a look. Three people were hurt in this wreck. It all happened just hours ago at a building on 1792 in Sanford. Jasmine Walker is live on that scene. Jasmine, you just spoke with a witness. What are they telling you? Uh, well, that witness uh, actually spoke earlier this morning because he heard the uh, squeals of the brakes. He also says he heard the loud crash as this uh, all unfolded. As you can see behind me, there's a hole in that historic building. All police are telling us is that the driver was speeding down 1792 and missed the curb, uh, crashing into this uh, building here in historic Sanford. You can see it tore apart the for sale sign. This all happened around 2:30 this morning. Sanford police officers were on duty at the barn, a local nightclub down. The street and said they saw the car flying down the street. It's unclear how fast they were going at this point, but minutes later, that car put a huge hole inside what used to be an architect's building, but the owner says it's now been remodeled into an event center. Now, all three men were taken to a local hospital here in Sanford. That man that I told you about who heard the impact of the crash from his apartment called 911 and stayed with the men until paramedics got to the scene. The friend was just out, he was out cold. And then uh, when I came over, he was starting to spit up blood and all that, and I wanted to make sure he was all right. So I told him if he understood me, um, he shook his head, yeah, and I said, look, I don't need you to move. I want you to stay right here. You know, the cops are already on the way. Now, Sanford police say that the car was not stolen. It's actually a rental car. That led us to ask if these men were from out of state. Police have told us that the driver is from DeLand. There's no word yet on if the other two men who were involved in this crash are Florida residents. That's something we'll also be uh, working to find out. But police are telling us that charges are pending. They have not mentioned anything about drugs or alcohol being involved. Live in Sanford, Jasmine Walker, West 2 News.